When it comes to adding interesting directional effects to your knitting, the answer is mitered knitting, which is also called domino or modular knitting. If you're after a geometric and graphic look, mitering is a great solution. Mitered squares can be made in just about any stitch pattern, and you'll commonly see the most basic made in garter stitch in either one, two, or multiple colors like these. If you should decide to advance in your mitered making skills, you'll soon discover that you can produce triangles, rectangles, and other geometric shapes. Creating a mitered square is a very logical process. All you need to know is some basic math and you'll be on your way to creating squares of any shape you desire. You can make large modular squares like these or you can create several and connect them together like the ones shown here on the boho bag. When you work your mitered squares in garter stitch, this produces a sturdy fabric that is perfect for rugs, runners, or as a bag, such as this boho tote pattern included as part of your class materials. To better understand the anatomy of a mitered square, let's take a look at the bottom and left edge of a completed square. For this square, I cast it on 32 stitches. 16 stitches represent the bottom edge, and 16 stitches represent the left edge. The square shape is created by working a series of central decreases every other row until you fasten off the last stitch. You can see how these decreases pull up the center, which eventually forms a perfect square. These decreases create a distinct line that runs diagonally from the bottom to the top of the square. Okay, so now we're going to practice how to work a mitered square. So we're going to start off, um, I just cast it on to our needle, 32 stitches, and I worked the setup row, which we knitted 16, we placed a marker, and then we knitted across the last 16 stitches. So now we're going to get ready and we're going to work row 2, which is our right side.